Hi everyone and welcome! Ready to bring your Revit designs to life? In this tutorial, we'll walk through the entire Revit to D5 workflow. Let's get started! First off, please install both D5 Render and its Sync plugin for Revit. They are available for free on d5render.com. Before bringing your model into D5, it's super important to make sure your Revit project is ready to go. There's this internal origin. In Revit, it's invisible, but all your model's geometry is referenced to it. If your model is too far away from this origin, you might get some weird issues in D5, like misplaced models or model drift. So, just make sure your project's base point is close to this origin. Next, Let's set up a dedicated 3D view specifically for our export. In this view, we can use the visibility, graphics overrides, to control exactly what we see. For complex elements that won't be visible in the final render, like internal pipes or tiny pieces of furniture, it's a good idea to hide them. This helps lighten the load on D5, making syncing and navigation much smoother. Up in the Revit toolbar, you'll see the D5 render icon. Give that a click, and D5 will automatically open up and create a new project. Your Revit model will be imported, and a live link will be established. D5 comes with a default terrain, but you can just delete that if you don't need it. From this point on, any changes you make to your geometry in Revit can be synced over to D5 by simply clicking the Sync Model button. Material editing works the same way. The same goes for any linked models you've modified, just hit Sync Links to update them. You can also control your views. The camera on option allows you to link your viewport between the two programs. To turn it off, just click the camera off option. If you've already set up cameras in Revit, you can bring them all into D5 scene list by clicking sync camera. And finally, you can sync your lights. Clicking the Sync Lights button will bring all of your Revit lights into D5, where you can then directly edit their properties, either as a group or individually. With everything in place, now we can create stunning visuals for this model. You can use either Geo Sky or HDRI to create a realistic natural lighting environment. We'll start by applying materials to the Farnsworth house. Simply choose a material template and import the corresponding texture maps. You can easily tweak the map intensity to create a realistic look that's just right for your project. Instead of creating a material from scratch, you have a few shortcuts. You can either select a material from the D5 asset library, or upload a reference image for AI Material Snap to generate a ready-to-use material. Repeat the process to complete all materials. Let's move on to enhance the site context. To make your planting workflow efficient, just grab the D5 Scatter tool. Simply pick your preferred vegetation models or presets, and it will quickly populate your surroundings with plants. Let's also manually place some trees. 
This is a great way to enhance the scene's depth and visual interest. As a final touch of realism, we can add some fallen leaves to the lawn. With our scene complete, it's time to set up stunning views for this project. Once rendering is finished, you can use the AI Enhancer to sharpen the details and take your final image to the next level. That completes our tutorial. Feel free to explore the Revit models at blocksrvt.com and download this scene at forum.d5render.com. Thanks for watching.